shoulder bits. That's where we're at now. This. This is what we're doing now. Everything's printed, and it printed okay. Um, this is when I started adding those those tabs that make printing way easier. Let me explain. I made a couple of clips, right? Just simple little clips that go on the inside, and I loop my strapping through. When I initially printed them, I printed them like this, and there's a little arch. And then there's another arch. So there's only like really four spots holding this thing in place. Obviously did not work well. Second time we're much better. Speaking of the second time. So 3D model does a little clip-like thing, right? Then, when it didn't print right the first time, I added these walls. Let me pull you over here so the camera stops looking at me and I can show you what I'm talking about. So here's the piece itself. Right, and it's got this arch and another arch. So it only connects these four points. And that, of course, leads to horrible failures. Because if there's nothing really for, you know, anything to connect to, it, it, it doesn't print well. Um, these little corners tend to, to arc up. Because, you know, I, I have a, a cooling issue. And that knocks things off, and then you get that. So I, I've begun adding these walls. They're thin enough I can hit them with a razor blade or a utility knife, and they come right off. But it gives me a flat place to start printing from. And since I've done this, I've had no failures, except for when, you know, I forget to do this. And that leads us to where we are now. I'm calling these pauldrons. They're probably not called pauldrons, but that's what I'm calling them. And these are just the arm pieces. These little buckles are going to glue in right about there. And the way I have them set up, let's see if I can show you. There's a gap so I can loop some strapping in. Probably use Velcro, maybe a snap, I don't know. And then this is going to hang right about there, and there's going to be another one of these buckles. So it's a little bit adjustable, but not really. It's just going to make strapping them on much easier. I want them to move when I move. Step one is going to be sand the inside. I don't normally sand the inside of these. This one's in kind of rough shape. These are in kind of rough shape. So I'm going to grab my rotary tool and get to sanding. But first, Utility knife. Nice thin walls. And these things come right off. So yeah. Saves my print every time. Y'all be prepared for what's about to happen, right? Of acetone, your glazing buddy, cup and brush, gloves, a mask. It's exactly like what we did last time. You did watch that last time, right? Last time was the, uh, the chess pieces. If not, I have other videos. Decent amount of acetone. A smaller amount of glazing putty. I have four pieces here. So I should be able to cycle through each of them and just keep going until I run out. I'm going to put a mask on. I'm probably going to move you up so you can get a better view and uh, just go to town.
and let that completely dry. Lightly sand it, and then do that again. Maybe two times, but you know, at least once more. You don't need to see that. You just saw that, so you don't need to see that. We'll pick it back up after that. Before we get too far into this, I want to glue these on. The little uh, um, clip pieces. And I don't want to take any chances, so I'm just using straight five minute epoxy. Skipping everything else. There, there's no need to pretend. Pull you around. Let's let's do this together. First thing I want to decide is about how far down I want these to be. This is going to be an absolute arbitrary number, but I'm thinking an inch and a half. Just an inch and a half. This is just so I can make both sides relatively symmetric. Grab the other one and do the same thing. Now I have to decide how I want the um, shoulder plates to rest on the pauldrons. I'm thinking about there is what I want. So I'm probably going to do about the same length down, maybe a little less. We'll go a little less. Luckily most of this is adjustable, so if I'm a little off, it's not the end of the world. Now we're going to glue everything in place, and it's just these four little buckles, primarily so I have somewhere to hold them when I want to paint them. Got everything marked. All I got to do is glue. I'm probably going to start with these because they seem to, uh, the arm plates seem to glue a little better. Then I'm just using some five minute epoxy. Now I'm going to do this before everything got a little too, you know, too refined. They don't want to be precious with this. They sure don't make this stuff easy to use, do they? I may yet add spring clamps. And these are curved. So it fits the, uh, the shape of the pauldron a little better. Ratcheting clamps shouldn't even mar the surface any. And since I have four of these, and there's four of us, we find that lady. Hi, lady. We'll, uh, we'll clamp all this together. Make sure everything's lined up right, and we leave it for about an hour. I know it's this five minute epoxy, but I'm gonna give it more time than it needs. I gave it a light sanding, laced a little bit of elastic through. That, that's gonna be fantastic. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's gonna go so well with this costume. <laughs> so, on to sanding the rest. Everything's been sanded. Brushed off, and ready to go. Got these hooks, which are gonna hang. Then a primo. I'm of course gonna be wearing a mask, so y'all ain't gonna be able to hear me. But I'm just using standard automotive prep. Everything gets primed. Once that's dried, everything gets uh, painted in Krylon Fusion Metallic Dark Metal. So, prime paint for red.
just been primed, but oh my goodness, do they look spectacular. I am so happy with these. Now on to a metallic dark metal. project is turning out way better than it has any right to be. I'm super happy with all of this. Look at that. That's just fantastic. Picked up some uh, one inch nylon webbing. We'll use this unless I find something I like better. Right now this is just a test. Once we get all the strapping together, we'll do all the strapping. Right now I'm heating up my glue gun. Because I don't want these rubbing against these, right? And the inside's kind of kind of funky. So, EVA foam. I'm gonna cut the foam, line the inside. Look at this. Neat. So I'm gonna cut the foam, line the inside, and then just glue it in place, and use it as padding. It'll look really nice. But that's where we're at now. Let me play around. So this is the piece we're working on. Just gonna grab a piece of foam. This is just standard one millimeter craft foam from a, I believe it was Joanne Fabric. No, it's Michaels, it was Michaels. So I have a couple decisions to make, because I think that looks about right. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut this out. I'm only really doing two of these, and then two of the uh, shoulder pieces. So I could take my time and make this look perfect. So let's see how this looks first. Because I think... This is the fiddly bit where we just sit there and go back and forth on what I want everything to look like. Because I'm really happy with this down here. This this needs a little more work, but not much. That looks about perfect. And that is exactly what I'm going for. So I'll just fold it in half. Transfer everything over, see where we're at. I would say that's kind of perfect. So we'll set that one down. So this one's got a super complex shape. I may have to do three separate pieces.
Nice thing about super thin foam is it a flexes exactly how I need it to. Looks about right. I think yeah, I think that looks about right. It's going to be too long. And just on the edge of where this foam wants to shape. I really like how this looks. So I'm gonna cut out another one now. I'm just not even gonna bother with it. I'm just gonna cut out another one so I can glue these in place and then do the wings on the, the another piece. Since I have my shape done, I'm just gonna glue this one on and keep going. I'm gonna start at the critical dimensions, which is for this particular pauldron, the very bottom here. As I want foam, but I don't want it to be seen. But it does still have to protect everything, so it has to be just far enough. Just like that. I'm not terribly worried about what the middle is doing, but I'm going to run a bead down the center anyway. Gives me a chance to uh, put a little on either side of this clip. And then just right along the edge. Now, when these pieces lay on top of each other, I don't have to worry about the paint scratching off because of the plastic. So then I just cut a piece that looks like this. First, I'm going to trace this out, I'm going to glue it in, and then cut the other piece out and glue it in, and then we'll pick back up. Look at that. I love that. It's going to go over the costume nice. I am lots of little glue wispies, but I'm super happy with that. The two pieces now rest together. There's no sound of um, paint scraping on paint or plastic on paint. But, so you can tell by all the little scraps, there was a lot of uh, cutting, placing, trimming a little here and there until it finally fit. Now we're on the fun part, stringing everything up. So I'm just going to cut a random length. See where it takes us. I'm probably going to redo all of this once I start working on the final strapping for the costume. But for now, for a test piece, 
This is definitely good enough. And since it's nylon, I'm of course fusing the ends. A little bit of heat. Took me a while to find the stupid thing. Quit smoking like 15 years ago. And let's forget, you know, sometimes you need a lighter. The way I have these set up is I have a double hook on the one that goes in the arm in case I want to put a clip down there to hold everything, you know, a little more secure down there too. I don't know. Just seemed like a good idea. You know, I did make these just wide enough to fit a pair of needle nose in there, but of course I'm fighting with it by hand. Yeah, I'm going to go grab them. That's why I did it. If I thought I had to make my life easier, the least I can do is do the thing that I thought would make my life easier. Doesn't want to cooperate even with the players. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, put the other one on and reposition and see what uh, see what we get. Let's put them on and see how they look. I absolutely love these things. They look fantastic. But look at that. They're 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 just perfect. And since they're loosely tacked to my vest, um, that's with the other pieces. Oh my goodness, this thing is gonna be amazing. I'm so happy. I am ecstatic. So next we're gonna work on the vest. Uh, my replacement sewing machine just showed up. So uh, yeah, that's something you wanna see where we're going with. You wanna see the rest of this, maybe think about liking and subscribing, sharing, leave a comment. Comments are always appreciated. Um, so yeah, hope to see you next time.